so, you know, they got to a certain point. <laughs> Fire ants on narcotics, plants with stomachs, and the thousands of mystery microbes that helped to brew one stinky Louisiana gumbo. All this and more next on Plants Are Cool Too. Animals are cuddly, animals are cute. You could put a kitten in a three-piece suit. But could an animal make its own food? Could an animal feed the whole world? Could an animal help you get a girl? Plants are cool too. Plants are cool too. Plants are cool too. Plants Are Cool Too is made possible through the generous support of the Botanical Society of America, leading scientists and educators since 1893. Hey, this is Dr. Chris Martin. This is Plants Are Cool Too, the show where we fully acknowledge that animals are awesome, but plants are cool too. Today's example are gonna be bug-eating plants deep in the heart of Louisiana, and we're here right now on our way to Abita Springs, about 40 miles north of New Orleans, where we're gonna meet my friend, Dr. Maggie Koopman. She's an expert on the pale pitcher plant, Saracenia alata. She's been working on this for a few years, has some really remarkable things to tell us about this awesome plant. Maggie's out in a longleaf pine savanna this morning, and we're going to go see if we can track her down. Hey, Maggie, good morning. Good morning, Chris. How are you? I'm doing well. This is a really cool site. Thank you for meeting me out here. Yeah, my pleasure. And I'm assuming this is the thing we're looking for. This, this is Saracenia alata, the is this. pale pitcher plant? Yes. Very cool. All right. So a carnivorous plant yeah. living in a very nutrient poor soil. Okay. okay. So it needs to supplement its nutrition somehow. Okay. Not getting what it needs out of the soil and then it's capturing organisms. Right? Yes. Yeah. Primarily insects. Uh -huh. And it's got to lure them to the plant somehow. Okay. How does it do that? I well, mean... it has these modified leaves. Okay. okay. So this leaf is modified to attract, trap, and then digest animals. <laughs> That's really cool. All right, so you're telling me this is this is a leaf. Like if I were to take a normal leaf like this and, and curl it up, I could make it exactly. into an insect exactly. trap? Exactly. That's right. what has happened over time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how the heck does it get the insects to go in there? If I'm an insect and that's a trap, why do I even bother going near it? Right. Well, the, the plant is offering very high nutritious, very um, sweet nectar. Okay. Okay. It's Where? offering it along the length of the leaf. Okay. Okay. So yep. crawling insects going to be lured. Oh, this is some good stuff. Yeah. Move on up. Follow the, the trail leaf. up the leaf. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately for the insect, yeah. the the plant has laced the nectar at the lip. Yeah. With narcotics. <laughs> okay. Changes the game a little bit when yeah, they get up to yeah. here, uh, right? And then nar narcotics, what, what happens to the insects when well, they... Well, gonna get a little woozy, yeah. hopefully gonna fall right in. Into the trap. Into the trap. Okay, and and they fall in there, and then then what happens? Well, it's a true trap. This The insects will likely never get out. Okay. okay? And that's because uh, inside the plant, yeah. there is a smooth, a waxy sort of slide. Okay. Where the insect is gonna zoom on down. Yep. And then there are a series of downward pointing hairs okay. that are going to essentially um, inhibit yeah. insects from coming So it's easy to out. slide down those hairs, but you can't come back up against them. No right? way. So now you're yeah. stuck down there. Yep. All right. What are they falling into? There's some, there's a liquid in there, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I, I call it fluid. Yeah. And it's essentially a plant stomach. Okay. So in that stomach, we get the digestion of these poor critters who got drunk and fell into the pitcher. Right. All right. right. That is really neat. Uh, I mean, is there a chance that we could actually cut one of these open and, and see what's going on inside? Absolutely. It's really fun to do that. Okay. Uh, this is one, just one plant. Yeah. Uh, so I'd like to go to where there are a few more. And uh -huh. there's a phenomenal population a few uh, miles away. So All let's, right. Let's go see let's it. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Only eight or nine species of Saracenia pitcher plant occur on the planet. All of them found in the southeastern United States, and nearly all of them restricted to fire-dependent longleaf pine forests. As a consequence, as longleaf pine habitats decline, so do the numbers of pitcher plants. Fire plays an important role in the continual renewal of the longleaf pine forest where pitcher plants thrive. 
The survival of this special forest community is now largely dependent on prescribed burning by land managers. So a lot of different stuff yeah, out here. Yeah, these are probably some of the most diverse communities, plant communities that are out in uh, this region of the country, actually. Oh, here they are already. Oh boy, we're already picking them up. There's a lot of pitcher plants out here, but this site seems quite a bit different than the last one we were in there. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely drier yep. and much more open. Yeah. Um, the other one seemed like it had been burned uh, pretty recently, right? Yeah, yeah, this looks like it's maybe burned more frequently, but less recently. recently yeah. yeah. All right, let's open one of these plants up. All right, that's a real monster. Oh. Need a knife? Yeah. All right. All right. Cut it right here at the base. Pretty tough. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, that's, that's a huge leaf. That Look is at that. really awesome. <laughs> really gorgeous. Yeah. All right, so. It doesn't look like there? there's too much fluid in there. Uh -huh. so I think I'm just gonna rip from the from up here and okay. start seeing what we see. All right. So here it's kind of waxy, and then right here we see this differentiation. There's some hairs now starting to come. So on. this is the slippery, waxy slide, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then we get to that long hairs that are yep. gonna keep. Yep. Now something. we've come to another level here. Okay. Things are starting to get wet. Yep. Wow. What is that thing that we just uh, uncovered in there? So that is. A larvae. It's a lar it's a larvae. Yes. Yeah. It's hanging out here, living, thriving inside of the leaf. Yep. Yeah. And he lives down in here, and he's kind of up at the end, the top of this water column, yep. chomping up the big parts. So here we have some dead insects. Yeah. Uh, not even sure what they are anymore. Just chunks kinda, of insect bodies. Yeah. Um, and he's so he's really. Scavenging, scavenging off the stuff that's already fallen into and, the... And yeah. starting starting at the, the largest level, so breaking up the largest pieces. Okay. Yeah. So what happens if we keep moving down in the pitcher? Well, there? then things are just going to get more and more broken down. Uh-huh. Okay? Yep. So now we're deep in the stomach of the plant. This is the, the stinky soup This of, is very, very... Oh, somebody's attracted to it. This yeah. fly is yeah. coming to see what it's about. Yeah. Wait, now that we have this thing all unraveled and, and, and flattened out, you can really see that it's 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 a leaf. It's just a leaf. Right, right. Yeah. right. So it's much more like a blade that we know about. Yeah, uh, like that a we usually leaf. think of. Yeah. Yes. But yes. but uh, their natural form is to have curled up this whole structure <laughs> and make it into an elongated insect trap, which right, is right. really amazing stuff. And actually, if you uh, grow these plants with nutrients yeah. they won't make a pitcher they'll just be a flat just a flat blade. yeah you're kidding me nope that's nah, really awesome <laughs> <laughs> while it might look like we're destroying an entire plant we're just exploring the contents of a single leaf all of the pitcher shaped leaves on this plant will die back at the end of this season and be replaced by new ones in the spring oh hey maggie come check this one out what do you got i don't know about a million ants down there. Is that yeah. possible that they'd still be moving around? Down yeah, there? yeah, yeah. So ants are actually the largest prey item of this species. Mm -hmm. So they eat mostly. Oh gosh, that's gross. These better not be fire ants, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> I hadn't really even thought of that possibility. Yeah, well, it's a <laughs> distinct one. <laughs> Up here. Unbelievable. Yeah. So you know they got to a certain point. <laughs> These guys are fire ants. Um, <laughs> you know, they, they got to a certain point where they hadn't quite fallen. They couldn't quite get up, probably. Um, There's an awful lot of them in there. <laughs> yeah. They're happy to be out, actually. We just released them. We saved um, the ants. We also took away a pretty huge meal for that picture. Yeah, that picture was <laughs> yeah. good for the year here. We just disrupted the ant buffet. Yeah. All right, this one gonna be it oh yeah yeah this one is a very full stomach lots okay. and lots of ants dead check that out holy moly look at all of that biomass that this plant has collected there's a bunch of mites that were are living in there they're living it? yep so yeah. the mites are, are somewhat commensal so in, the, in this case the fluid is 
kind of dried up for whatever reason. And yeah. These ants are still, those co corpses of ants are all still in there. They're still remaining. Uh, likely the next time it rains, yeah. rain will fall in. Yep. Uh, and, and we'll see that digestion we'll see sort that. of kick in again. Yeah, and not that it's not happening, you know, yeah. so it's a very yeah, yeah, wet, yeah. it's very wet in yeah. here. Um, yeah. Oh, look at all of those. Yeah, dead let's ants. let's cut it. Let's cut it open. All right. So just a short time ago, these were basically just a bunch of drunk ants. Holy mackerel! Yeah. Right. My How many goodness. individuals look at all those ants. is that? And you can't even see that they're ants, really. You can just see ant heads and thoraxes. <laughs> yeah, and, they're just and whatnot. Bits of partially digested ants. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That's incredible. Yeah. Do you want to do this one? I would get it at the base, okay. far below where you think. Possible. So way down there. Way down there. Yep. Okay. And you All have right. something we can put this fluid in to yeah. sort of have a look yeah. at it? Let's, All right. It's got uh, its own little pore spout on there, doesn't it? <laughs> That's made for it. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Holy. All right. Oh, there's some uh, ants in that one ants, too. Di yeah. Different species, it looks like. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now you, you've been part of a, a recent research project that shows that it, it, it's not just about plant enzymes and juice, but there's actually a lot more going on in this fluid than we ever knew about before. Right. Yeah. Right. So there are an, an enormous number of microorganisms yeah. living inside of this fluid. In the fluid, yeah. That is further breaking down this these. Uh, these prey. So a whole community of like bacteria and things that are bacteria down there. Bacteria yeah. especially is where, where my interests lie. Yep. Okay. So yep. we've found uh, this particular plant species yeah. is upwards of 800 different species. Not just individuals. No, no. 800 different species of microorganisms in the fluid. In a, in a single. Living in, the, living in a single in leaf. In a single yes. leaf. Yes. 800 different species. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> They're what? actually... Um, very, very similar to the animal gut. So okay, that flora of bacteria, very, very similar components to so, our stomach. That's amazing stuff. And that's not including the fungi, the algae, the rotifers, all sorts of other microorganisms that we don't even know about yet, that we know they're in there, we yeah. just don't know what they are, we don't know what so their role is. So we see a moth, we see a, a beetle grub, and that's just the tip of the ice, this massive iceberg of diversity right. that right. lives in every single one of these pictures. Yes. This is like Horton Here's a Who. There's a whole world in there. <laughs> Hello down there, right? All yeah, down there. Exactly, exactly. It's a whole world in there. That's insane. Maggie, thanks so much for meeting us out here. My pleasure. Talking to us about these pitcher plants. My well, what are you going to do next with these things? Well, I'm looking at the microbial communities in another species of pitcher plant and seeing whether or not those microbial communities are necessary for plant carnivory. Cool. Yeah. What are you doing next? Me. I'm uh, going to have a po' boy sandwich and a nice cold sweet pea. I'm in Louisiana, baby. <laughs>